and welcome all. This is Nidhi Gorbuli Deshpande. I am the host, and uh, this is the expert lecture series, and uh, organized by Chamber for Advancement of Small and Medium Businesses. We have our president, Mr. Nilesh Lele, with us, and chairman, Dr. Prabodh Halde, with us. So over to you, Nilesh sir. Yeah, thank you. Good evening, and uh, a warm welcome to our guest speaker, Professor Lakshmi Kant Badbai. Uh, welcome uh, our chairman for chamber, Dr. Prabodh Halde, and all of you who are attending today's session. Uh, sorry for the delay because of uh, small technical challenges that uh, Professor Lakshmi Kant is facing, uh, but we are hoping to get it resolved. And uh, since our chairman is also here, uh, I would like to welcome him and ask him to say a few words. And after that, I'll also give a brief presentation on the chamber and the activities that the chamber have done in the last three years. So, uh, Dr. Prabodh, uh, we would like to invite you for the chairman as well as the welcome remarks. Thank you. Thank you, Nilesh. Uh, and welcome to the expert talk. Uh, this is a very important series and uh, Chamber always uh, believes in uh, sharing and cross-learning. And this is a very good uh, initiative. I congratulate the Chamber. Thanks, uh, Nilesh and Umesh and entire team. This is uh, the first series is with Dr. Uh, Lakshmikant, who is from the northeast part of the India and one of the experts in this food and uh, packaging technology. Friends, uh, in today's era, sharing learning is the most important task. And today the information has been accumulated over the different channels like YouTube, Google, ChatGPT. But the big challenge is how you sort out this information and convert this information into knowledge. And Conversion of information to knowledge is the most important aspect. And expert series experts basically make that information converted into the knowledge which you need to absorb. So look forward for wonderful series. And I hope you will enjoy this series and this will continue. How many uh, total such expert talks are Nilesh uh, assigned? So as of now, we have planned 12, the series of 12, which will be on alternate Saturdays, uh, second and fourth Saturday of every month. Very good. So, so I wish you all the best and uh, look forward for expert and conversion of information to knowledge. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Nidhi, for what you yeah, thank you. thank you very much, Dr. Prabodh, for your uh, kind words as well as your support to the chamber. And uh, recently, we also celebrated the completion of three years and the fourth foundation day. And I want to walk through some of the achievements or activities that our chamber has done in last three years. So just bear with me. So um, I'm sure most of you are familiar with our chamber, uh, which was founded on 1st of March 2021. And uh, Dr. Prabodh, Umesh, myself, we came together and we realized that during the COVID period, it was the micro, small, medium enterprises which was uh, affected. And that's why this chamber was founded in order to help the micro, small, medium enterprises which as a sector also employs more than 11 crore people and contributes more than 40% to the GDP as well as more than 40% to the export. The uh, mission is, and as the name also suggests, we want to advance the MSMEs. We want the MSME, which is already considered as a backbone of any economy, especially Indian economy. We want to make it more stronger. We want to make it more resilient where it can actually withstand some of the shocks that we saw 
during the COVID-19 outbreak. A uh, few of the objectives have also been listed out here, trying to be a conduit, trying to be a platform where the owners of micro, small and medium businesses can find all of the things, be it technology, be it uh, funding, be it government connect, uh, be it study tools, be it uh, knowledge sessions like what we are conducting today. We also have a special women cell where more than 150 women entrepreneurs have been handheld as part of the chamber activities. We also work closely with a lot of farmers, farmer producer companies and making them think like an entrepreneur and uh, hoping uh, and helping achieve our Honorable Prime Minister's dream of doubling the farmer's income uh, in near future. Uh, I'm sure most of you have seen some of our initiatives like Food Tech Patshala, which is an e-learning portal, already has more than 30 courses available. Our quarterly magazine, Again, uh, we'll be releasing the 12th issue in the month of April. All of the earlier issues are also available on the <clears throat> Chamber website. We have conducted various study tours. Uh, we also did some online tours of factories or labs during COVID and after that also. Uh, and like I've briefly touched upon the knowledge series, uh, we have more than 150 such YouTube uh, such knowledge series webinars on our YouTube. You feel free to reach out uh, to visit our YouTube channel and see some of them if, in case you have missed out. We have uh, also conducted various networking fairs, are part of many different exhibitions, conclaves. Uh, we also organize job fairs, and uh, most of this data can also be found on our website at casmb.org.in. So I don't want to take up too much time of our uh, speaker, but uh, feel free to reach out to Nidhi or to me or to Prabodh sir or anybody from our chamber. So in case you need any more help, uh, this is just a snapshot of things that we have done in three years where we have touched more than 2000 or so entrepreneurs, uh, a lot of women entrepreneurs, startups, FPOs, also farmers and so on and so forth. So uh, we are very active on our social media handles, be it LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook. So please go there. Please go to our YouTube channel, uh, subscribe it, like, uh, like the videos, like our uh, other posts on the uh, different channels and try to connect with us and whatever is possible in our capacity, we'll try to help you uh, in near future. So with that, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to talk a little bit about the chamber activities over the period of last three years. So thank you. Over to uh, Nidhi. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, can you please uh, join him, uh, Dr. Prof. Uh, Lakshmika? Yeah. Are you there? Yeah, I am audible. Yeah, yeah. I am audible now. Oh, okay. yes, sir. I, yes, sir. Yeah. So sorry for uh, such a delay and technical clinch from my side. I don't know what happened, but anyway. Welcome, sir. And thank you very much yeah. for joining today. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. So, so much. Nidhi, please uh, introduce our speaker. I would like to welcome Dr. Lakshmikant Barway. He is the head of the Department of Food Engineering and Technology, Tejpur Central University of Assam. He has more than 18 years of experience and his expertise are sustainable food packaging, food processing, waste utilization, and extraction of bioactive compounds. Most welcome, sir. And please start the session now. I also want to say that uh, Lakshmi Kanji is one of the very, very renowned food technologists, and he was the vice president of AFSTI headquarter based at Northeast. And he's a voice of food technology in Northeast. So welcome, Lakshmi Kanji. Yeah, thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Yes, share the screen, sir. Ma'am, please share from your side. Yes, yes, sir.
okay so i hope it is visible to other also ma'am please yes, make full screen yeah if you can hit f5 yeah perfect thank you thank you so much so uh, first of all uh, dr nilesh lele dr prabodh halde miss nidhi and uh, all the members of uh, casmb uh, for giving me this opportunity uh, nidhi asked me few days back uh, can you speak so i i thought better to grab this opportunity and get connected with the people uh, and to say something which i know a little and try to explore my knowledge or share my knowledge with others especially students so i expect i think participants more students right nidhi yes yes yeah. sir so. yeah yeah so uh, please uh, go to the next slide just a minute sir just a minute sir so it's not working from here nilisha nilisha yeah you can, can I... send it to me yeah, yeah. Ma'am, I I think I can also. Ma'am, I am sharing if yes, it, yes. it is visible. Yes, yeah, okay. it's coming up. Because my mobile audio and I think the desktop PPT may work. Yeah, is it visible now? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. So before uh, start of my presentation, just from where I am. Uh, so as you know, I'm from Tejpur University, Assam. So this is a. These are some of the beauties you can say or well-known places like Ma Kamakya Mandir that is popular in Guwahati. Kaziranga National Park that is near to Tejpur, and Assam is known for, as you know, the tea, and especially uh, Tejpur is uh, located uh, in the bank of Brahmaputra River, and uh, Tejpur is known for uh, many things. We can say uh, if we go for a mythological history, the Prabodh sir also made one video uh, that uh, when he visited the Tejpur, like it is. because tejpur is nothing but the the city of blood and tej means blood and pur means that is a that that's why tejpur is there so like that is because of the war of between between hari and uh, hari and hara so that is because of uh, some mythological history about uh, love of usha and aniruddha and because that that's that, that there many things happens so apart from this just this is a our beautiful campus green in tejpur university located uh, in assam so it is a full of nature and that's why i choose we can say the sustainable topic uh, we are in the environment uh, friendly and green environment uh, our university is uh, accredited by a plus by nac and uh, especially our department food engineering and technology uh received the certificate of it right uh, that and that is also it right Res uh, research award from fssi in 2022 that is also in sustainability so just i am highlighting because department is working on the sustainability issue in uh, in all the aspects even recently this is a known uh, like trophy i can say from the cs 
CASMMB because of the we also received MSME Academy excellence in uh, recently that is happened in the Mumbai. Department is also running food quality control laboratory and we are also the part of uh, PMFME scheme of government of India as a state level technical institute. Now, uh, before going for our topic that is sustainable food packaging, as many students are there. So, uh, what is, if we say packaging, what is food packaging first, that is important, we should know. So, packaging is an integral component of the food processing sector. So, all the food processing sectors that, that can cannot stay or sustain without food packaging. And uh, food packaging is a combination of art, science, technology for enclosing the product to achieve a safe and transport and distribution of the product means it is not only packing the food material and uh, and doing everything but it is nothing but uh, many things like how it can preserve how it can protect and how it can communicate with the customer so good packaging prevent waste ensure that food retain its desired quality through its shelf life so uh, there are different types of packaging metal paper metal glass plastic and uh, this chart you actually show that how it can be uh, responsible for containment, contamination, communication, and many aspects. So this is all about uh, the food packaging that can be uh, responsible. So it protect from the environment, from the microorganism. It add the containment to the product, and also they can communicate with the customer and also provide the convenience. So this all fundamental functions of the food packaging. We can go beyond that by active packaging, by intelligent packaging, etc. And this is important when we go for any sustainability issue. But uh, when we are thinking about the global food packaging market, and it is expected to reach like USD of 456.6 billion by the 2027, and occupying a leading position within the growing market of packaging. So uh, nowadays, packaging is an important aspect. Without packaging, one cannot now sustain or think about packaging of food, whether it is a street vendor or uh, we need a uh, packed product. So now everything packaging is important. And uh, after use, environment impact of food packaging is also very large because not only food packaging is a major source of waste, solid waste, or you can say packaging waste, but most preferred material that is paper, plastics, and uh, they are made in a such a way that that can be uh, maybe used for, you can say, single use or in that way, which may also like down the diffusion of recycling. So recycling of material is important, but many packagings are there which are not able to get recycled because of the, you can say, recycling process or uh, collecting the waste and uh, treating it, that is a very, uh, you can say, uh, extensive process, which may not be possible. The packaging sector alone create nearly 150 million tons of plastic in a year, if we say about plastic, and over 95% of which is disposed in the same year. As it is, uh, we cannot assure or say that every time it will be utilized fully for a, a recycle. So, as it is uh, show that we can from like uh, we have started from the traditional banana leaves using the for the packaging purpose. So we move toward the plastics or any another type of the packaging material. And modern packaging techniques have certainly extended the shelf life and improved the hygiene. That's why people started to use. Uh, new packaging material, flexible packaging material, we can say because of lay, I mean, cost effective as well as they can be hygienically packed, can ship, low weight and many more advantages. That's why we are also move from the glass, metal towards more plastics because of the, these advantages. Okay. And that environmental impact uh, was also there. So that landfills, or flowing that happens and traditional food packaging not only depleted natural resources but also release harmful toxins during the decomposition process. So 
uh, they are not only that creating the environmental pollutant, but the soil and everything is get affected. So consumer demands for sustainability. Like today's consumer are concerned that what is inside the package, what is the sustainability aspects and all. So everything is now concerned. So there is a need to go for a sustainable packaging system which can fulfill the requirement. In a somehow, we cannot replace 100% plastics or 100% packaging material. But anyway, in a some way, we can move towards the sustainable packaging material. Now, uh, simply sustainable food packaging, if we I say. But before that, what is sustainable? Sustainable means what? Uh, we think like uh, that is common definition, like that use of the natural product and energy. Means uh, we should not use the some synthetic material or uh, that energy which is cost, means not good for environment or sustainable. And with that, that does not harm the environment. Means from raw material to the process to the uh, that, Everyone, everything should not hamper or affect the environment. That is overall we can say the sustainable things. So now when we come about the sustainable food packaging, so it is an eco-friendly approach to packaging, focusing on reducing environmental impact through biodegradable, recyclable and edible materials. And uh, packaging is an essential element of response to the address key challenges of sustainable food consumption of the international sense, which is clearly about minimizing the environmental footprint of packaged food. So there is a need to move toward the sustainable packaging, which can be from a natural source, can easily manufacture and no any environmental effect. So that's why uh, the waste, before throwing the waste, that is an important concern that should be considered. An innovative sustainable packaging aim to address food waste and loss reduction by preserving food quality. And also sustainable practice aren't just good for the environment. We can't say like this practice is good for environment, then it is only sustainable. So it is a survival, our survival as well as well-being so that the future can be sustained. So that is the main concept of the sustainable uh, things or sustainable food packaging, one of the steps that can be uh, considered. So uh, there are different things like we are going for consider the effectiveness, resource efficiency, recyclability, safety aspect to have a package as a sustainable. And uh, like that Europe, European, that they are also vision of packaging contribution to sustainable development that the package should also be designed holistically with the product to optimize overall environmental performance, be made from responsible source material and meet market criteria for performance, cost, consumer and consumer expectation. So this is not deal with only the environmental issue, but consumer expectation as well as the performance, cost, everything should be sustainable in that way. Now, the food packaging sustainability framework, there are some points. We should consider the environmental conservation. And when environmental conservation, there are different six objectives that should be fulfilled. Like, uh, what is the resource efficiency? Uh, what is the recyclability of the resources which we are going to use? And responsible management of packaging and, of packaging and responsible food purchasing also and responsible food conservation at a home and responsible management along the supply chain. So starting from the resources to the supply chain or management, so everything should be, that is comes under the environmental conservation, how we are maintaining the environment through that practices that carried out. And another is food safety. Like in that case, uh, we should, there are two objectives like safe packaging production and safe behavior with respect to food. So that is set, safety aspects are also concerned. Like the package should be uh, produced in a safe way as well as the, it should not harm the food material when we are packing through that uh, things. And last is the social value. In this case, uh, we are extended assess in a food 
augmented income, work empowerment, improve health and etc. So society should also get benefited uh, through the approaches that can make it sustainable. Okay, it is not only uh, one way approach. So sustainable environment, safety and social value can be considered in a sustainability framework. Now, when we are considering simply the type of different sustainable packaging or which type of the material we call as a sustainable. So as we define, like it should be environmental friendly, they can easily degrade and can be raw material from the natural sources. So there are simply three types we can consider. One is a biodegradable packaging material, which can be easily degraded in the soil by microorganism or anything. So that, that is nothing but the biodegradable packaging. Another aspect is called edible packaging. So edible packaging is also part of food packaging that is that come under the sustainable because they are also environmental friendly, not causing any harm. And recycle and recyclable packaging. So such packaging are very important. How we are able to recycle the packaging material or how how we can make a packaging material by recycling they may be uh, so that uh, it can help to maintain the sustainability because biodegradable is okay so but whatever the cost we are uh, putting is not only to make the pack that throughout the package in the environment and make them biodegradable so if there is a chance we can recycle it so that is a way that we can see the sustainability can be in, uh, possible. Now, uh, if suppose uh, consider about biodegradable packaging. Nowadays, there is a uh, bioplastics also uh, that terms are there. So biodegradable packaging is generally defined as any form of packaging that will naturally disintegrate and decompose as that is a simple definition of biodegradable packaging. And uh, that the material which are used in biodegradable such that they can break down by the microorganism, maybe bacteria, fungi, algae, whatever. So uh, nowadays, that's why you might have seen many, many plastic. I am not plastics or that is a bioplastic also. So they are generally made from the natural resources, which can be have a compatibility like a, uh, that plastic packaging material. and can easily get biodegradable. So such type of the packaging material are, are important and are uh, essentially needed to, for the maintain the sustainability. So most common example of biodegradable plastic that we know that paper or bio-based polymer, which are made from the natural resources, which can be used uh, or which can be uh, easily degradable. So this is a major part of sustainability. Now, these are some type of the biodegradable material. Like uh, when any manufacturer, they want to go for a manufacturing biodegradable packaging. So uh, that sub, that uh, may more important is that is a corn starch or any type of the starch which can be used. And uh, that they have, we can substitute the various like uh, things that is needed in a uh, that uh, synthetic polymer or whatever. So they, that cornstarch can be used to make a different trays, uh, uh, different films, which can resemble the property and of the synthetic polymer and can be easily uh, make a, a different container, packaging material, etc. So that is the one source. We can use a starch, which are natural resources and can have a different types of the plastic material or sorry, packaging material. Another is uh, mushroom. Uh, so this is also blooming. Like uh, to produce mushroom packaging, agriculture waste is taken and uh, they are uh, maybe rice husk or anything and a similar type of material. And they powdered or uh, they joined together by the mycelium. That is a mushroom root. So what happened? With the time it grows and it, it will give like a uh, uh, thermoform or poly, uh, that uh, foam plastics as we are using that is commonly called as a thermocol and all. So it can be used to protect the glass bottle and all. So this is a good example of the biodegradable or sustainable packaging. It can easily be by you can just break it and throw in a dustbin or in a soil it can easily 
degrade so and can provide a fertility to the soil also so this is also another good example uh, another we can use seaweeds uh, of uh, like uh, seaweeds and algae is used to make a seaweed packaging so we can extract desirable material and can have a packaging material cellulose is uh, mostly abundantly available and mostly for the paper industry the, we are extracting cellulose from the different resources can we can make a sheet we can make a uh, like uh, different types of the plates container that is possible so cellulose may be from the any waste sources also which are not that much used for uh, development of any 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 values so we can say the waste can also be utilized and paper that is 100% biodegradable everyone know but apart from paper we can have other options also because we can't cut a trees to make a sustainable environment so that's why need to find out the alternatives for such system uh, another approach uh, that i have already told you like edible packaging so word itself so that the packaging material which can be consumed and there are different uh, targets like we we need some compound or uh, that some polymer that is a natural polymer which are edible and that can be coated on a any food material like there are some polysaccharides we can get a starch gums pectin cellulose alginate uh, that is a uh, cytosine from the animal sources we can uh, extract protein uh, from the soya bean from the peas from that like gluten gelatin and also some fat like wax be wax some uh, oils and some of the uh, so this polysaccharide protein lipids are the important source for as a we can say edible coating we can coat material and can have a, can have a uh, like longer shelf life we can add some active agent also in the packaging so so this also maintain the sustainability means we are trying to avoid the use of uh, the plastic or synthetic polymers for uh, packaging so in in nutshell you can say that that have uh, advantages but edible packaging also uh, means one one problem we can say we need some sources from where we need to extract something so we can extract some gelatin or uh, some protein from the animal sources or some uh, things we can extract some polysaccharide which have a film forming or uh, for making the biodegradable container now but again this is a we can say the pro, that packaging material is sustainable the process may not be sustainable because we need to extract we, we need to add the energy and all so now uh, let us consider how the food loss and food waste can be correlated with the the packaging so globally uh, 40% of the food value at an estimated of usd 400 billion is lost from the harvest up to but uh, not including retail uh, and another 17% is wasted at a retail and consumer level so simple this chart you can view means out of 100% waste generated by a different uh, location so 20% in the field or at the harvest period some at the farm level some at the processing and marketing level on transportation as well as in the at market or retail shop so uh, this waste sometime maybe just uh, throw away and they don't have that much usability in all the aspects sometime it can be possible to use but every time it is not possible so uh, now food loss and waste are currently represent a processing challenge in the design of sustainable food system so food processing also have a challenge to have a sustainability to waste so much product is not a sustainability again okay so and because that uh, food loss is also contributing to the carbon footprint and uh, also affect in the greenhouse gases means we are considering vehicle is polluting the environment by carbon emission but our food waste is also one of the important aspect so we need to think about such type of the waste which are uh, from the different uh, part of the processing uh, storage distribution in the farm level 
so uh, this is only the processing uh, food processing if we are considering the food processing aspect especially there are different waste and what we are doing uh, we are using food waste for composting vermi composting waste water treatment also we are going uh, we are uh, anaerobic fermentation biogas generation and after that we can go for a landfilling also as a as a last option but uh, so we need to maintain this waste management hierarchy uh, it is okay we can go for a disposal or a landfill easily but better to try to reduce the waste first at the processing level or at the each and every level of the that uh, you can say life cycle of the product or the supply chain then we can uh, try to re reuse the product which got wasted we, we should try to reuse or recycle uh, if not possible then we should go for a composting or anything so so these are the various sources of agriculture waste like plant source animal source so we are getting crop residue, uh, process residue, fruits and vegetable waste, animal sources like egg waste, feather, meat waste. Now, why I am telling this waste? Because we are we can have a utilization of such type of the agriculture waste for uh, sustainable package development. So scope for waste utilization in food packaging. So there are different types of the waste. Uh, as listed in this table, you can see and uh, like simple example like potato peel, they are a good source of starch. Uh, so that can be utilized for development of the biodegradable film or any type of the as a starch source. Why to waste the potato peels? At home it is possible or it is okay, but at an industrial level, large amount of the potato waste may be generated. So similarly, a different food industry may have a citrus waste may have uh, some uh, uh, defatted oil seed cake also. Uh, so other than uh, like animal feeding, we have a, we can explore other options. So we can extract something or we can utilize it for the development of the, the packaging material. So edible film and coating, I already uh, told you about polysaccharide, lipid, protein, which have a potential to use as a, and that can also be extracted from such type of the waste. Why to go for a pectin of the fruit? Better to go for the pectin from the waste which is generated by the citrus industries. So that, that have a, a sustainability approaches, we can say. We are utilizing the waste for sustainability. Now, there are utilization of crop residues in a packaging. You know, there are uh, like straw of the plant or there may be the burning, such type of the burning is done so that they want like uh, uh, means for a fresh harvesting or fresh uh, that uh, farming practices they need to clean but better not to go for uh, such options we have that high potential for valorization of such eco friendly packaging to reduce the waste and to such type of the waste can be utilized so there are different types of the product that can be made from such resources which are good source of serologic material okay so processing of cereal sugar cane dairy product produce residues and byproduct that can be used uh, economically commercially for development of the packaging material so as i have shown even uh, the banana plantation so after uh, getting bananas this this just they cut down and not effectively utilized so there are different, you can get a YouTube video also how this uh, uh, that can be utilized for development of the serologic fiber and followed by the packaging material. So such sustainability approaches are there and one can go for such type of the startup or, or can make such type of the packaging material. Uh, another is use of animal waste in the packaging. So agriculture, food is okay and that is animal waste also. In animal processing industry, we are getting feathers, skin, shells, and other body parts that are not included in the process or considered as a byproduct or as a waste. Okay. So, but they are also having some valuable compound like feather or non-meat atoms, even eggshell have been used to improve the 
uh, food security and uh, also as a packaging material that can have a potential. And uh, as shown in that, that can be that animal waste can be used for uh, hydrogels, bioplastics, fabrics, protein, and that is from the uh, you can say from uh, feather also we can get even from the animal source we are getting from the skins from the feather from the excel and uh, many pigment also so waste is also have a good resources to have a sustainability now just i uh, so these are the area which have which can be research can be done more and which can be explored for such for development of the sustainable packaging so just i want to highlight some of the experiment or some of the research that is carried out in our laboratory also and uh, we are also trying to utilize different food processing waste to make a sustainable packaging material like this is one example of how the potato peel and sweet lime OMAS can be used for development of the sustainable packaging material. So, uh, in the industrial level, at our home level, or in the even at a restaurant level, the potato peels are get wasted. Even sweet lime peel as well as the OMAS after extraction of juice, you are getting uh, material which are uh, that, that can have a potential. So, what do we did? We make a powder of potato peel as well as sweet lime, uh, pomace, and mix them in a different proportion. Uh, we have not went for extraction of starch or pectin from this because that is also not a sustainable approach because we need energy and again waste will be generated. So why not to utilize as a whole raw material or transformation of the whole raw material to the packaging material. So we try to develop uh, film forming solution by addition of uh, glycerol, emulsifier and uh, sand uh, that can lead to the uh, that potato peel and sweet lime pomace based packaging peel which have a desirable property and that can that we also applied on the bread and try to compare with the polyethylene packed bread that is available how it can also maintain the uh, life of the that particular uh, food material. So this is one approach how the waste can be uh, utilized. Similarly, uh, chicken feather is known for the protein that is uh, a creatine protein. So it is also considered as a waste. Feather are not uh, liked by many or that is just even the uh, big slaughterhouse or uh, you can say they are not utilizing the feather effectively so they have a protein and even so in this work uh, we have tried to extract the protein from the chicken feather the feather of the boiler chicken as well as the uh, pomelo peel that is a pomelo fruit having a large skin so the peels is not much use uh, in a in a in any as a edible or whatever so better to uh, we can go for extraction of uh, that uh, we can say pectin from this peel and can have a combined feel of protein as well as uh, pectin because sometimes the combination can favorable for maintaining or to develop the sustainable packaging material so in that way uh, the film can be developed and which can also try to wrap on the fish fillets so they and try to compare with the unwrap and wrap film how how that can be uh, yeah. So we can see you. We we also got good film like a, a polyethylene transparent type for film. So that have a acceptability also and uh, sustainability. In another uh, similar work, we tried to use uh, musk melon seed. Though musk melon seed is popularly used in uh, different sweets and also, uh, but that can also utilize directly to make a film to make a to extract the protein. If if that uh, that seed is of not good quality, also we can go for such type of the direct utilization. So the the target in packaging is how that raw material is rich in particular proportion of, of or uh, you can say compound. It may be protein, it may be pectin. So it help 
as a binding property. Otherwise, we need to add additionally binding agents or simply starch or any polysaccharides or gums that can have a desirability effect. Okay, this is also another uh, pumpkin seed and peel. So uh, just uh, how the pumpkin seed and peel from uh, that is in our house also, we are wasting both the things, but both are good source of the protein as well as the pectin. So why not to utilize such waste? So we tried different combination of this and develop the film by using valorization of pumpkin seeds and peel into the biodegradable packaging film. Similarly, uh, we also uh, done some experiment on the sweet lime peel residues. So after extraction of uh, uh, like uh, juice, sweet lime peel is waste. So sweet lime peel can be used as a extraction of essential oil. So we extracted essential oil from the sweet lime peel. You can see in this picture. So, but after that, still that waste is there. Means so the process is not totally sustainable. So to utilize that uh, residual sweet lime peel in which no any essential oil. So that can be also make converted into the packaging material and uh, can be used as a alternative. So. So we tried to have a complete sustainability. We extracted juice, then peel wasted, so peel uh, to the essential oil. Then after that, that residue can be into the packaging material and can have a, uh, it was wrapped on the uh, fish to consider the how it can affect the fish fillet quality or can preserve it for how long time. This is you now, uh, now these were uh, till today uh, that uh, uh, other things are about the film, but now we try to develop the biodegradable container also. So we have made a sweet lime pomace and a container was developed. So having the property to hold something. And uh, as you know, that this is a from a biological sources, they may absorb more amount of water. So we try to coat it with the BVAX, modified BVAX to and uh, try to increase the water contact angle so that more water can be or water can be hold it for some desirable time so that it can be used as a substitute for a beverage consumption and all the things. Similarly, we done uh, similar research in a way like uh, that is a common raw material sugarcane bagasse that can be also utilized for as a can be utilized utilize as a for extraction of fiber or can be utilized in the different uh, film development they have a prop that fiber have a property can provide a better tensile strength to the packaging material so that can be possible by addition of such type of the sugarcane bagasse fiber so we have added this sugarcane bagasse fiber in a sweet lime fill based film so that their tensile property or mechanical property can be enhanced. So this is a similar approach uh, uh, of sustainable packaging in which Assam lemon uh, is also commercially available in this area and popularly consumed. So that, that can also have a potential to extract uh, essential oil, to extract the pectin or desirable or for sustainable package development. Uh, banana peel is most common example and uh, uh, it is generated waste in a huge quantity everywhere. But banana peel, uh, when we tried in other type of the waste, there was a requirement to add some extra uh, starch or uh, some other binding agent. But banana peel, it still have a property. If we prepare a banana film from the banana peel, it will give the good flexibility and can have a desirable property that is needed for any any flexible pou pouch making so but study is required to have a more durability more water vapor resistance but for a short uh, period of time like for a braid that have a shelf life of two to three days so such type of the film is a uh, excellent example we can easily utilize such sustainable and can develop a sustainable package uh, similarly, uh, in our recent study, we tried and this study patented also like eggshell are uh, 
uh, utilize for development of the uh, packaging container or plate, we can say, added with the banana bagasse powder as well as the banana staff powder, which are three material are all three are waste and can have a property to make a container. So we could able to make a plates and coat it with the bee wax. So they have a property to hold the water also or we can use for a, a one time use of such type of the plate in, in, in place of the normal paper plate also. So paper plate required la, uh, means la, more energy, but this is, you can say uh, cost economical also and can have a desirable property. Even uh, oil seed mills, those who are not usable oil seed mill, you can say, they can also have a uh, direct impact on the development of packaging material or packaging content. So these are some of the highlights, like uh, why I'm telling ki those students can have a research idea, like any waste that is generated in your region or your area can, can be explored too as a potential for development of the packaging material. Uh, maybe like uh, that is uh, arachnid husk or coconut, coconut fiber. Though it is uh, have a large use, but such type of the waste can be targeted, which is locally available and can have a different types of the packaging container and packaging. Material. So we can, there is a possibility to maintain a sustainability aspect in a somehow or in a some step. So we can contribute to the society also by such things. Now, like what are the benefits of switching to sustainable packaging? Like why we should go so it reduces the production cost. Why production cost? Because uh, we are getting the material which are naturally available from, or, or you can say from the waste material. So the raw material cost or extraction cost, etc., can be utilized. It is non-toxic and also non-allergen free. So biodegradable. So no any in that way undesirable effect on the, you can say food. Uh, sometimes if it is not possible as a primary packaging, you can uh, we can go for a secondary packaging uh, for a particular food item. It may boost your brand image also. Like eco-friendly packaging enhance your brand and also demonstrate your concern to the environment and uh, your responsibility with, uh, with the society. And more importantly, it reduces your carbon footprint that generated by the your organization or industry. Okay, so that is also uh, that possible because it helps to reduce carbon dioxide emission in the uh, by using in a daily operation also. And also in, it may help you to increase the sales. So there are many startups are coming up. Hello. Sorry. Yeah. So these are some benefits that can be achievable. So this is uh, all from my side. Uh, so thank you so much uh, to the all the audience. Yeah, Nidhi. Yes, so. Yeah. Anyone so I, I hope I maintain the time. Yes, so definitely. So anyone has few questions or anything to ask? Hello, good evening, uh, ma'am. May I ask? Yes, yes, sure. Yes, uh, please. Sir, this is, uh, sir, good evening, sir. This is Bindu from Lady Avin College in New Delhi. Sir, I want to yeah, ask about the cost effectiveness of uh, the sustainable packaging. Because you are mentioning that we can use a raw material as such, but we have to extract out the components from that raw material. And then, for example, we have to... Uh, cast that into a film or for example a container so uh, yes like is it on the upper side if we compare it with uh, the plastic or the polymer so what would be uh, your take on yeah. this actually uh, we tried a biodegradable plate like as i told in case of uh, this uh, biodegradable plate from eggshell waste and uh, that is used banana sugarcane bagasse and banana stock powder so we found like uh, 
now in a small scale it is we are getting more costly because uh, we need to purchase the even raw material or even things but as a by product from uh, if we deal with any food industry or anything so you can collect more amount of the by products which have a, a no value or very less value for them so my my example like we, we can cut down the cost on the raw material and uh, in that way the overall cost can be minimized uh, initially the cost of biodegradable plant setup we can say is might be higher because we require that much of setup and all but if it is started in a continuous way then obviously the cost will be get reduced man yeah. more, more importantly like uh, uh, if we are telling sustainable uh, raw material and sustainable process also so process is also is not very lengthy or we re don't require very high temperature like required in the polymer uh, just uh, you can make a dough or whatever of such material and just press in the hot place your material can be get ready like paper plate making machine that that you might have seen so in that way cost effectiveness is there uh, but obviously uh, need to go for a large scale to get a financial benefit in that thank you sir thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, dear sir this is prem yes yes uh, this is prem uh, speaking from uh, uh, telangana i've seen this is a very good one uh, informative and the thing is that i i been noticed that india is a versatile and we have the multiple culture and multiple way as you know that we are having around 70% we are having the food uh, staple food is rice hmm. like yeah, it might be a uh, parboiled rice or a raw rice or whatever it may be i am having a plan of an idea thinking that what you said most of the places wherever the harvest happen for the rice rice crop for the 3 months or 6 months in in our country uh, in south uh, uh, south regions like uh, andhra pradesh where there is three times uh, they grow the crop for rice three times so the hay what right. we are left over hay any places in delhi gorgan somewhere and even in some places uh, they burn of the hay or else right. uh, convert the hay with the coconut pit in the coconut industry mm -hmm. the coconut pit and this hay mixing up mm -hmm. and adding some amalgam or something co co coagulants uh, we can make the packing bags instead of leaving get getting rid of carry bags uh, what you said as you shown in the picture like uh, banana pedenkil is also there banana pedenkil pedenkil right, right. the uh, uh, this three mixing combination we can make a nice so bag yeah, yeah yeah these are the good uh, these are the stem and the, uh, after the stem also when the banana bunches were removed we yes. get the pedenkil mm -hmm. this is clearly showing that you have done a vast research on environmental sustainability but i have to congratulate uh, thank you but why don't we go for uh, these three or else the sugarcane molasses from the jute piece yes 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 yeah, nice idea. Yeah. Come out. If we could come out, we can come over the costing. What you said, like uh, uh, even the transportation, even the um, uh, cardboard boxes. What you said. If not, there is a husk. Uh, India has the global rice ball, like a uh, husk we have. The husk yes, now yes, people yes. are burning up and generating the uh, power plant. They are using for the brick fly ash and all this burning purpose. Mm -hmm. Even the husk by mixing with some chemicals, we can make it out. Uh, yes, yes. Packaging Actually, uh, in in our research also, uh, what what we are thinking, uh, don't go for extraction or uh, process, which which also cost uh, more as well as time yes. consuming and not sustainable. Yes. Process so too much. To, yeah, yeah, better better to go for a direct utilization of waste. Yes, uh, only one or two. A, yeah. So one or two stage and uh, that can have a desirable effect and uh, yes. also uh, have a possibility. So I think uh, yes. in South only I have seen many that they are make, making the packaging material from such type of the banana waste and uh, that that is a good idea. So there are corn peel as well, corn corn peel, maize uh, peel as well. From that peel also it has a tungsten stress. What you were saying? Yes. 
Uh, yes, yes. After yes. four days or five days, it uh, turns up uh, firm grip and holds the weight around five kg. Ah, uh, right, right. And uh, in a large scale, it will give the economic value also, and uh, yes, yes. not very uh, high profile or high cost machine as required. Uh, one yes, can yes. miss uh, whatever we made. It is handmade or uh, man in a ten to twenty thousand. We have manufactured some machine at a level for experimental yes. purpose. So if yes, we scale yes. up, also it will it won't cost cost like oh. very high. Only one lakhs or two lakhs may also be sufficient yes. in a small scale industry. Yes, MSME small scale businesses we can right. give the opportunities for each and every one. Yes, right, right. Yes, yes. But okay. this was good, yeah, thank sir. you. Uh, informative, informative, and uh, thank okay. you, thank okay. you for giving. Thank you, thank time. you so much. Yeah, thank Your you informative so much. was there. One on one interlinked yeah. one. Anyone? The main is the, the main is the sir in this carbon footprints. Overcoming the carbon right, right. footprints is the yeah. biggest one. For this, I appreciate. I... Hello. Yes, yes, Nidhi, go ahead. Yes, anyone else who wants to ask something? Yeah, we can. Hello. Hello. Yes. Man, I think some cross. Oh. You want to ask something? Okay. Okay. So, ma'am, uh, uh, I, yes, I have not written my, but one can. Uh, Get in touch with me or through you or uh, anything. Yes, sir. they can directly get in touch with you. Yeah. You can put it in the yeah. chat box also if you want your uh, email address. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Let's wind up the session now. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir, for finding time at a short notice and uh, exp you are enlightening us uh, with your. Ex expertise and uh, knowledge and th thank you so Hello. much sir and uh, Haan, kaha? Hello? Yeah. Hello? yeah ma'am yeah hello you want to ask something no no it was uh, go ahead you we can close it okay th okay thank thank you so much sir for joining us in this session yeah thank you so much to uh, everyone from this chamber for this opportunity uh, and uh, really we, we, were, yeah, we, yeah, we were already in touch uh, by different activity of AFSTI and uh, so that's why I, I have said yes to the Nidhi on his one WhatsApp so I thought better to get connected with the people and share the views or uh, and this is a good topic i, I thought to explain yes, to the so students and uh, yeah but because of uh, internet technical issue it was not went in that well anyway thank you so much thank you for thank joining. you dr nilesh yeah thank you sir thank you very much for your time yeah, yeah thank you so thank you so okay. much